All right, hey Aquarius. So I'm doing a full moon read for you guys, and this is um, it's a release read, yes, um, but it's more about what you can release to either heal and move forward with this person or independent of this person. Okay, so you're gonna know this is your read by the past and what causes separation so if you do not resonate with that you're going to want to check your other placements you guys because i'm not pulling on your energy everything else is coming from the person that's on your mind their energy all right so um if you're new welcome i hope that you guys will subscribe and uh, hang out with me and uh, like the video if it resonates please so that other people that may need to see these messages um can catch it on youtube all right so we have um your uh, moon card have faith in your dreams and your dreams need a practical plan all right so yes it kind of looks a little contradictory right um but it's i feel like it's more of um yeah, the biggest thing is going to have faith all right um but what are you asking for what are you reaching for because i feel like whatever it is your whatever it is that's coming in your dream all right, I feel like maybe you could actually achieve it in a more practical way. I feel like that's kind of what your uh, angels and your, your spirit guides are saying right now, okay? Um, and that could be in any area of life, but let's see what, what uh, the past is. What is the past? All right, so we have the knight and the queen, so you could be dealing with somebody younger, somebody older. Y'all both could have water in your chart. Um, with the Six of Wands coming in reverse, I feel like what you guys received through this connection was um, a lot less than a victory. A lot less than moving forward. All right, probably a stagnation. Um, Knight of Cups coming through with an empty cup. And the Queen of Cups giving all the love. All right, so it doesn't matter if you're the man or the woman in this connection. I feel somebody is pouring their heart out, trying to give and give and give and give and give and this person's um, actually just uh, accepting with their empty cup while this person pours their emotion and their love and their energy into it um, but on the other scale it's like they keep returning with this empty cup you keep pouring your energy time and your efforts into this cup but it's like they go away it's like look at the knight walks to the queen she pours and pours and pours and then boom walks away all right so let's just see what happened, what caused this separation. What's causing this separation? So we have death. So somebody is afraid of a new beginning. All right. Yeah. Somebody's afraid. Death, um, ace of swords. This is the opposite of victory. This is the opposite of a rebirth, an opposite of a transformation. Somebody is scared to transform their energy. Somebody's actually scared to move forward. All three of these cards drop in the reverse. So this is all stagnant energy. Somebody's afraid to move forward. Um, it, you know, I don't know what, what I'm not going to pull to see what or why this person's afraid, but somebody is deathly, deathly afraid of moving forward. Um, it could be because of divorce. It could be because of uh, um, childhood. It could be because of um, past um, just typical or general romantic relationships failing in general but this person all these cards drop in in the reverse i feel with the eight of wands it's like this person potentially filling you with just empty promises coming through with their empty cup while you're sitting there actually giving them your heart space your energy your time so let's just see what this person's energy is the devil yeah <clears throat> They, okay, so here's what I feel. This person, it's like, it's almost like they, it's like this right here is in their mind, which is commitment. So this person, they can see commitment. They want commitment. They want the love. They want the happily ever after. They can see that, but they don't say it. This is secrets, miscommunication. I'm, I'm not, I can't say anything. I can't talk about how I feel. This person um, with the devil energy, they have, uh, there's a lot of, um, I, I, there's a lot, I feel like they have trauma. Trauma, um, they're just, uh, they have a lot to repair. They have, a, it's like almost, here's what I'm feeling, you guys. This person is almost having to break a cycle of a karmic, um, past life karma. I almost feel like this person is trying to heal past life karma. Um, 
it's like there's a cycle, a toxic cycle that goes through their family, and that cycle is going to stop with them almost. Uh, it's not it's not nothing that you can do. It's not nothing that you can say. This is something that this person is going to come into on their own. Um, but I almost feel like they they're so afraid of uh, toxic behavior energy that they they actually they can't see divine um, when it's right in front of their face. Um, but that's nothing that you can help them with. All right, you can't help them with it. What is their situation? So their situation, um, yeah, look at that. The king and queen of wands showing up. So they know that you're a divine counterpart. They know that you're supposed to be here. They look at you as soulmate energy. They know that you mean something to them. They don't know what. And what you've given this person is a huge period of self-reflection. Um, so I feel like what their situation is, is they're wondering what is this, all right? Because I'm used to thinking and being in one way. Then you come along and ruin my life, okay? Not really, you guys. Don't take that personally. But I just kind of feel like this person um, embodies a, a lot of ego and they don't know how to step out of it. It's like you couldn't um, throw you couldn't you couldn't throw a fishing pole out there and catch them with the hook and reel them in and they would still be trying to go the opposite way. All right. Um, how do they feel about you? How does this person feel about Aquarius? Temperance, soulmate energy. You bring them balance, peace, love, and healing. All right. It's like they want to cut. They, they don't know what way to go. Um, they can, uh, in one way, see um, building an empire with you, co-creating with you. But on the other scale, it's like I'm, I'm stuck. I've never felt like this before. Um, but you bring a very healing energy to this person. Um, and even if you don't see it now, um, union is, is what they want. Um, so let's just confirm that. Where do they want this to go? Where does uh, this person want the situation to go with Aquarius? Where do they want it to go? Ace of Cups. Yeah. Look at that tower card. So they want to get, they want to move past this uh, tower moment. Um, the tower is something that promotes catalyst, uh, a positive catalyst. Um, shit, I don't even know what I'm saying. The tower card promotes a catalyst for positive growth. Okay, so where do they want to see this go? They want to come out of the their head. I feel like this person's in their head. They want to come out of their head space. They want to communicate. They want to talk. Um, you guys built a strong friendship connection, um, one that could actually lead to love. This isn't a friend zone situation. I feel like you guys built something that this person's put trust in you, all right, and they can see it growing. Um, that's where they want it to go, but I feel like this person questions a lot. So let's see what you can release. What does Aquarius need to release from this connection? Uh, okay, so if you're feeling like an option, all right, if you feel like you're just an option to this person, you got to let that go because it's not true. Um, this person's scared, yes. All right, if you're feeling like you're not going to have your happiness, you have to let that go because within this connection, it does present the opportunity for happiness. Um, but again, you got to let that go in order to see it. All right. Um, right here, this is like the potential of this person never healing from their wounds. Um, you could see this as somebody never healing from a mother figure, a grandmother, an aunt, or just past romantic loves. You got to let that go. You can't see them as damaged. Somebody that's always wounded. The Knight of Pentacles is the wounded warrior. Um, the Queen of the Cups is, is emotional, is, is emotional, um, intuitive, um, you know, moving forward, emotionally mature, emotionally available, stable. Um, all right. You, you can't crisscross those energies. Just know that they, this is balance. All right. And I feel like what you need to do is let go of any wounded warrior and emotional, um, it, it, the victim card is what I almost feel. I almost feel like you look at this person like they play, they might play the victim or that just might be energy that you sensed. It's not that they come and complain, but maybe they've talked to you about past situations where you're finally like, okay, that's enough. All right. You know what I mean? So what comes after you um, release? What comes after the release? Oh, wow. It's like no sooner do you release that, you're good, you'll start to feel happy. You're going to start to sense happiness. All right. Um, I don't feel like this is missed opportunity. I feel like this is an opportunity for a comeback. And honestly, I feel like it might not even take until the next uh, moon phase to come around. The page of swords, I feel like that energy is already around you. So I feel like this person's kind of waking up or being shook up to, to what this connection is. 
All right, so let's see what the next 30 days shows for you. Next 30 days. I feel like this is where we're at, you know, locking that heart up, being conflicted, and then kind of reaching out as a page, kind of reaching out, not giving all of it, um, and then just kind of seeing our ships come in with that win. All right. So I feel Aquarius that you're going to have the outcome that you want with this connection. Um, just, just release and just this person's wounds are very, very much independent of your, of you. This has nothing to do with you. Um, but I feel like you are, you're, you're acknowledging this person, um, as, uh, they got healing to do. And, you know, do, do you want that in your energy space? Where are you at with your past and your exes or your, you know, childhood wounds? Cause we all grow up with those wounds, right? There's n every single person on earth grows up with childhood wounds. It doesn't matter. Um, it's a lesson. This is what we're supposed to come out of. Um, you just might be a little more advanced. All right. So your, uh, your spell card, safe travel, keep me safe and let me roam far away, but bring me home. All right. Um, so that could just be uh, one in itself for you guys. Uh, some of you guys could actually have have a connection at a distance. It doesn't have to be. It could just be that while you are gone or why, why you are here when you come across this, it could just be that you're actually um, somewhere that's not home. And we have good cheer coming through with, with a kind heart and humor free. With kind heart and humor free, may good cheer rule, so mote it be. All right, so come in into a happy phase no matter what. And it's the full moon, man. Full moon is all about releasing manifestation and magic, you guys. I'm going to keep it there, Aquarius. I do hope you guys um, comment and keep, keep the comments polite, please. But overall, I love you guys. Talk to you soon.